the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Welcome back, everyone. Most of our Illinois counties starting to see that rain move on out, but still over in Indiana, most of us experiencing at least some light rain showers. It hasn't been heavy rain by any means so far today. We haven't seen thunderstorms or severe weather. Just those good old fashioned rain showers that are going to be continuously exiting off to the east for the rest of our afternoon, and then some drier weather set to move in for later on today. All of this rain is riding along a frontal boundary that's to our south. It's a warm front. It's going to lift northward over the weekend. So while we stay below average temperature wise today, as that boundary lifts in, we're going to start to see some warmer temperatures plus continued chances for rain as we head into the weekend. But let's talk about our Friday. It's midday right now. We still have rain to our east, but this is again going to exit as we head through the first part of our day. Here's two o'clock this afternoon. Still the chance that we can see a few lingering showers at this point, but beyond that, we'll even start to see the sky clearing out for this evening by 10 o'clock tonight, looking partly cloudy and dry. So rain chances drastically going to diminish mainly after two o'clock today, and then we stay mainly dry as we head into our evening tonight. So if you're headed out within the next few hours, still probably a good idea to keep that umbrella close by and then just looking at a mostly cloudy sky by four o'clock and becoming partly cloudy later this evening. Now temperatures are still in the 60s right now, set to rebound to near 75 for our forecast tide today, and then we stay in the 70s as we continue on through our evening. Now we'll pick future cast back up at 10 o'clock tonight, and as we roll through the overnight, notice not much is going to change. We keep showers and rain out of the forecast, and then we begin our Saturday. We watch that frontal system lift northward, but we stay dry for most of our Saturday into the morning and afternoon hours, not expecting that next chance of rain to return until the latter part of the day after 5 p.m. Some scattered rain moves in for our Saturday evening, and then rain is going to be pretty likely through the overnight Saturday, putting us into Sunday. Now here's 7 a.m. on Sunday. Notice that rain starts to take back over for our Sunday afternoon, going with around a 30% chance of showers at this point, and then Sunday evening a little bit more in the way of some dry time, but all of that rain due in part to that warm front that's going to lift on in. That's going to bring some warmer temperatures in. In fact, we're going to completely change up that weather pattern. Warmer air is going to move on in for this weekend, and it's going to stay around even as we head into next week. A, t a change here, temperatures actually becoming more seasonal. As soon as Saturday, and then heading into next week, notice daytime high temperatures very close to that normal daytime high of 89 degrees. We are going to be done with these below normal temperatures, finally going to start to feel more like July as we head into the weekend and then into next week. So forecast for today, a few showers still lingering, mainly in our eastern county is going to be exiting and drying out later this afternoon, 75, partly to mostly cloudy to the overnight 62. Your overnight low temperature. Check out your seven day forecast. We keep a chance of rain around mainly Saturday evening, around a 20% chance, and then scattered showers on Sunday, 89, warming back up next week with daily shower and storm chances.